a, a bill that we would like to uh, give to you. Uh, once again, recognizing uh, Jerusalem as uh, as uh, the uh, undivided uh, capital of the state of Israel, and asking again, requiring unconditionally that our embassy be moved there. I think that that will go a long way toward uh, helping it, tourism. As you say, the um, the people of all faiths are there already, and I think one of the greatest uh, problems you have with with uh, not increasing tourism is the misconceptions that Americans have about what Jerusalem is all about and what Israel is all about. People are seeing suicide bombers and attacks, and uh, uh, you know we need to uh, do more to dispel that myth. And I think going around the country, speaking to all the groups like evangelical Christians, it's just a natural group to uh, to really see the Bible come alive in, in Jerusalem. Uh, I wanted to ask you about the recent clashes in the Temple Mount. Uh, uh, what do you see as the, as the causes there? What can we do? What can you do? Uh, what do you expect to happen in the near future? And uh, and the growing threat of uh, Islamic radicals that are surrounding uh, your city, uh, including the wide range of rockets from, from Gaza. What's at stake and, and what can you do at, in, in Jerusalem? I know it's a national problem, but yeah. Jerusalem is well, so important. Well, it's amazing. Uh, 